I had been renting uh, in Jupiter January, February, and March. And so during the 2020 shutdown, uh, that's when we were down here locked in, <laughs> locked in our house, that we actually decided let's buy down here. We loved it. Felt like this was a great place to set up roots, great place for the kids to go to school, and just felt like it was a good sense of community down here for me. There's so many ways this season can unfold. You just envision that and dream that the season's gonna unfold your way and that you're gonna end up with a World Series trophy. It's kind of like at the start of a marathon. You know it's coming for the next six months and you're at that starting line, you just can't wait to get out there and get going. Growing up in St. Louis, a lot of good things from my childhood there. Whether it was basketball in the winter, tennis, baseball, football, name it all. I loved just being outside and playing as many sports as I could. I loved baseball, I always thought my future was in baseball. Loved hitting, loved playing outfield and pitching. I you know, always had a good arm, but I felt like I, it was a, almost maybe a better high school hitter than it was a high school pitcher. For me, any way to get on the baseball field. I had a really strong commitment to uh, go to Mizzou and uh, you know further my education. You know, when you get drafted that late, the chance that you make it is just so low. For me, at that point in my life, uh, you know, furthering my education was my number one goal. So I was going to have to take a heck of an offer from the Cardinals for me to forego that commitment. And so clearly they didn't. And <laughs> you know, I went to Mizzou, and that was obviously the best decision I, I could make. It allowed me to grow into the pitcher that really I am today. Is this where I'm at in this point in my life? How I'm settled here in Jupiter, Florida. It made a lot of sense for me to stay here on the East Coast. A team that seemed to me that be a great fit to join was the Mets. You have an opportunity to go out there and have a great chance to win and be a part of a great team. Want to do everything I can to make sure that I do my part of this. You know, once I signed with the Mets, I didn't realize how many <laughs> Mets fans are actually down here in Florida. They give it to you. They give it to you hard, and uh, you know they're going to say anything and everything. But I, I enjoy it. I enjoy having people be that passionate about baseball and that drive to win. There's an energy when you get the pitch in front of that. There's such an adrenaline spike because of that. It's just fun to have that type of environment. It's better than being in an environment where no one's there. You know, we only got a handful of fans in the stands, and it's dead quiet. So you give me 40,000 people jammed in the stadium screaming. It only takes a couple weeks to kind of blend in with the team, and then after that, then it's baseball. Uh, everybody's talking baseball, everybody's just talking shop, and that's what we do. You know, we all have different baseball stories. Though. What we see, who we face, you know, different friends across the game, and how we perceive things. And so you hear of all the different players I've played with and all their different backgrounds and their stories, and you know, I guess all of our past to the big leagues and you know, what it takes to stay here. You can learn from everybody. I enjoy all my teammates and the guys across the league. There's a lot of guys I respect uh, in how they go about their business, and you try to you know, take a little bit of something from everyone. Yeah, working with Hef, he's right now really busy because he's got so many pitchers he's got to worry about right now and he's evaluating everybody. You know, I'm, I'm going to be on the team. <laughs> I think we all know that. For me, i got to be my own best pitching coach right now. For Hefner and I, that relationship will really get going here in, in the next couple months. When we get through the scouting force, different situations pop up where sometimes I'm right and then there's a lot of times where I'm wrong and then figuring out where that line is and where his pitching IQ is at, where he can help me and where he can't. The way I pitch is I'm going to throw the first punch. I'm going to come out there and I'm going to throw my stuff. I'm going to challenge it. That's my DNA. But outside of that, you got to be able to blend everything that's going on. I mean, the hitters are really smart. They prepare really well against you. I mean, I'm seeing so many different hitting coaches now across the league and how they prepare. And they pick up on just about any little thing you do. You have to be ready to be able to match that. And you really have to be kind of cerebral about it and, and think about what what the chess moves are to be able to set everything up. You can't just go out there and try to run through a brick wall. You gotta be going out there with an edge in, in your mind of how you're gonna navigate a lineup. Just never stop working. You can continue to add pitches. You can always get better at locating pitches. You can always get better mechanically. You're never a finished product. That's still how I feel today. There's still things I'm working on, still things I think I can get better at, still pitches I can locate better. I never feel like this is over. There's always a better version of myself out there and I just gotta grind to go get it. Off field right now, I got, I got three kids. <laughs> That's my off time, there is no off time. I got four, two and a half, and a 10 month year old who's crawling around nonstop right now, so, you know, dad life's real. Yeah, I'll be a little league coach. <laughs> Once I'm done playing one of these years, I'll definitely want to get back and kind of open my book of like how I do things and say that publicly at one point. I got the blinders up, I just go. My family's in a good spot. There's no reason to think about the end. I'd rather think about the great things that are gonna happen this year.
win the World Series, that's what I'm playing for. And that's the goal every single year, come in here and win it. That's what motivates me, that's what drives me to do everything that I have to do to go out there and compete and win, is to be the last team standing. I guess if I have anything to say to the Mets fans, let's win.